Deepika, your director, Meghna Gulzar, she told me that she always had you in mind for this film, Chapak, but she was apprehensive about approaching you because she wasn't sure you'd say yes. I asked her why and she said it's because film stars tend to like to work in films where they're not yanked out of their comfort zone. Um, I have a different way of looking at it. I actually feel that uh, film stars, in fact, are looking for opportunities where um, one can show their range and a big transformation sort of allows you to, uh, you know, become someone else. And, 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 it's, and it's, it's, you know, it's what actors thrive. Um, what were you drawn to when it came along? The, the, you know, the opportunity to be able to sink your teeth into this, which would this is exactly the kind of performance part that that yeah. actors look for. Yeah. Or was it the story that uh, w was it something that touched you? I'd say a bit of both. Um, I feel like uh, uh, it, it, it's both of those things because when you're getting a narration, it's like on one hand you're thinking your your you know my your mind is blown literally about right. the, just the story and digesting all of that, and there's this other part in your brain that's also saying, oh my god, like. I'm getting to do this. How am I going to do it? Mm. So it's all of those. Uh, so it's a bit of both. It's 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 understanding that as an actor, this is going to be extremely challenging and something that I would love to sink my teeth into. And at the same time, the story in itself, you know, you can't take away from that because eventually you are as good as 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 the story is. Right. You can be fabulous in a movie, but if the story doesn't work, it's pointless, True. right? So um, it's definitely a, a you know a mix of both, and it you know I've said this before as well. It took me all of two minutes to say yes. Yeah, it yeah. was not rocket science at all. I think Meghna meant that, and she said that she said that um, it is that this was a film that was going to require whichever actor decided to do it. It was going to require to strip them of their yeah. very tools of the trade. Yeah. Was that also an attraction? I didn't think of it like that. I didn't think of it like, oh, I'm going to. Uh, did I think of it like, wow, I'm going to get my uh, get to sink my teeth into something, and it's going to be really challenging. And you know, there's that uh, that you know the butterflies that you feel uh, you you know in your stomach about how you're going to achieve this. Yeah. Yes. But did I think about it like strategically, like, oh, right. wow, this is actually, and. It could seem like that. Yeah. I understand because I've also just before this done a film called Padmavat, where everything was was about physical beauty. Right. Um, but no, that was not. Uh, that's not what drew me to the to the film. Like, oh my God, I'm going to. Um, yes, I'm going to play a different character. I'm right. going to get to play an extremely challenging character. But I didn't think of it for a second from a vanity right. point of view at all. Right. Um, did you have to spend a lot of time with Lakshmi Agarwal on whose story? This is based yes. um, to sort of understand what she was like, uh, how this incident changed her life. How much did you need to draw um, from her directly? I'd say it's 50-50 because I think we were both, uh, Meghna in fact was very clear that it's not trying to make Deepika look like Lakshmi. That's right, she said that, yeah. It's also about drawing from that, mm. inspired by that, but at the same time, God forbid, if I was to go through something like this, what would that mean for me? Right. And how how do we think that would you know impact my life? Mm. So it was a bit of both. So sometimes, you know, you'll you and I'm I'm assuming you'll see that in the film where you'll see bits of Lakshmi, but you'll see bits of me also because we didn't. It's not about trying to make me look like her right. at all. Right. Right. Um, you've said this is your most special film. Yes. In what way? Also, um, when did you decide that this was also a film that you wanted to produce? Uh, as soon as I heard it, as soon as I heard it, and it was also the timing of having my back end in place and mm. knowing that okay, as a as a producer, my back end is ready and we're good to go. Uh, because it's not, you know, whenever I've put my name to something, it's not just about putting my name to it, but also adding value yeah. uh, to it. So it was the timing of having all of that back end ready, and and when Meghna sort of came to me with this. And she came. She was on board only as as a director. I was on board as an actor. And when we finished, and uh, you know, via the team, we sort of explored the idea of of producing it as well. And yeah, it, and that's how it happened. So, um, and why Chapak? Because I feel like somewhere I'd like Ka as a production house to also represent. Um, you know the kind of choices I've made in yeah. in my in my acting life in my right. acting career, 
um, you know, with films with substance, of course, entertaining. That sure. goes without saying. But films that ha that are meaningful and that have some substance. You know, it's so wonderful that you say that because I was I was out of the country when the trailer came out, and I was looking at the trailer. Uh, and I think sometimes when you're geographically up away, you're able to see a sort of larger perspective. And I was like, wow! I mean, how <laughs> incredible that this young woman decides to become a producer, and that's the first thing that she decides to put her name on. Yeah. Um, you know, more power. Thank and I think you. it's wonderful because. Uh, History remembers the choices we make. Absolutely. Uh, and how wonderful that, that I mean, irrespective of how the film does, how it turns out, yes. um, that that's what you chose to be the first. Yes. So more power. Thank you. And um, I mean, yeah, like, you know, box office numbers, those are not things that have ever mattered to me. Um, uh, you know, does it does it make me happy when, when, uh, when you know, when people report back and say that the film's doing really well at the box office sure. as well? Of course. But I think for me, True, a uh, true success and true impact really is when you've been able to bring about a shift in society. When you've been able to have people think, feel, uh, experience um, somewhere where it's you know influence. I won't even say affected, but influence them in in some way. Right. Um, and also films that have repeat value, films yeah. that you want to go back to. For me. You know, Devdas is is a really successful film. God, I don't know what the box office was at that point. Um, so I think films that that you want to revisit, Correct. that have recall value, that mm. have repeat value, that even 10, 15 years from now you'd want to put on that DVD and and watch. Right. For me, because that's true, right? What we remember actually is not even sometimes the film; it's about how it made you feel. Absolutely, right? and and you know, and and so that's the journey I'm on. Right. Um, were you at all concerned? Because this is an this is a difficult story. It's mm -hmm. an uncomfortable story. And I think what's lovely about the trailer is that while it sort of shows you that, it really punches you in the gut. Um, it also leaves you with with hope. Yes. I mean, she's you know you have spoken about uh, trauma and triumph. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, as someone who's been very vocal and who's been very honest about your own battles with say depression, w were you ever concerned that that this could be a trigger for you know? It's it's an uncomfortable subject. I mean, um, so I haven't said this before, but yes, I did spiral uh, through the process of this movie, and I did have to have my uh, my counselor on set with me, and I, it came out of nowhere. Um, and I was also kind of caught off guard because I was doing all the things that I should be doing to take care of my life, um, you know. And and so I don't think, and I started feeling it like. I started I started feeling it coming on and I felt like maybe it's just maybe I'm just tired maybe it's the long hours maybe it's this maybe it's that but then it got really bad I started getting claustrophobic um and so um yeah I uh, you know it's it's been very tough for me emotionally so I think that's why you know even at the trailer launch and stuff like that just to uh, you know think about those those days and to put myself through that again it's been you know emotionally it's been uh, very challenging do you remember what it was like putting on the prosthetic for the first time because that's when it gets real right yeah i won't even say first time because you know, you you know initially it was very technical right there was no emotion involved right so initially what when works, what yeah, yeah so uh, uh, so as soon as we, you know, we decided that we're doing this film and we immediately had to start getting to the prosthetics because I was going to get married after that mm. uh, and I was going to be unavailable for a bit and as soon as I came back we were going to start filming. So uh, we had to do a bunch of look tests before uh, I left and um, I remember the initial process, the initial bits being uh, very very technical i would literally you know i'd be seeing stuff on my phone right. i'd fall asleep because right. it would also take like five hours six hours look at myself and i had no clue because i had not um i don't think I, even i had a vision for it and it was very very technical meghna's telling her you know clover you know we need a little more color here we need some more patchiness here and so all of that i was just going right. through the motion it's only when it became a reality when mm. um when we did the final, final look test, mm. um, that's the moment I, you know, I clearly remember the final look test happened. It was a costume, camera, this, that, everything. And um, that's the day when, you know, the face came on and I looked at myself in the mirror and I said to Meghna, I, I said, I feel exactly like myself. Mm. 
And she said, that's, that's it. That's the movie. And that's what we want everyone to know. Right. That uh, we assume that their appearance and that uh, that their appearance is what matters the most to Correct. them. Correct. It's that last not, line in the trailer, isn't yeah. it? Chehra badla hai. Correct. Uh, it's, um, unho ne meri surat badli hai, yeah. mera man nahi. And that was the film. That's I, I was like, wow, you right. know. Um, and when you meet them, you'll realize, for them, they have such basic challenges on a daily basis. Mm. Trust me, this is the least of their uh, concerns, right. their appearance. It doesn't, it, it either doesn't figure at all or right. it really figures way down somewhere. Um, and I think that's what we're also trying to convey uh, through the movie right. that, you know, all of us need to hopefully get to a place where we're beyond just our, our, our physical appearance. <laughs> I want to talk about specific bits in the trailer. There is that bit where where Malti, your character, sees herself in the mirror for the first time after the attack. And there is that visceral scream. That scream is so powerful. What was that like? It was tough. <laughs> um, that's it. It was raw. What you saw, yeah. was that was it. Um, I don't think even I had seen my face too much in the mirror that, that morning and um, it was a sort of a revelation for me as well and we did two takes Wow! and that was it. Um, yeah and actually the first, we, we had to do one more for technical reasons but that's it. Right. And we would just, in fact, Meghna and I were just talking about that. We didn't discuss that scene. Mm. She literally on that day, the set was somber. Uh, she said these, she just whispered in my ear. She just gave me a few pointers, right. like from a technical point of view, like just try and hit these marks. Mm. And she just whispered in my ear and she walked away. And, um, and that was it. And that was it. And we had never discussed how much, right. how little. Mm. These things you can't. You know, and it's on on uh, on a script. It'll be one line. Correct. How do you interpret right. that? Um, so th there was a lot of these sort of moments where, uh, and as an actor, those are the exciting parts, right? Where you have like it's just like a one line description or a word, but when you're actually having to execute it, mm. um, how do you interpret that? How do you perform that? Those are the exciting. Uh, Bits. So this film has, a, you know, a lot of those sort of spontaneous moments that, you know, that, that you don't really discuss too much. They just sort Correct. of happen. Yeah. You know, the message is quite clear of the film that it is um, on some level about, about inclusion. It's about, um, you know, the, I, I don't treat them any differently. Yeah, absolutely. I, and yet there is, a, there is a moment which, which feels completely right in the trailer because it's, it's an honest moment where that little child yeah. looks at you and he screams. Yeah. Um, and children are completely pure. Their reactions are most innocent and most pure. And, and that's also a reality, right? That Correct. we can talk as much about um, inclusion, but, but it is at your first instinct. That's what you have to combat, right? Yeah. And of course, I mean, um, and you know, that's what we hope through, to achieve through this film as well, to, for inclusion. And, um, uh, you know, a part of me makes me feel like, why would a kid react like that? Is that also because a kid has not since childhood been exposed uh, to something like this, Correct. you know? So the more we make normalize it, mm. the more we include, um, they're not disabled. Right. right. They're as able as we are. Correct. Why is it, you know, why is every, why is every day a challenge for them? Right. Um, you know, so hopefully all of this will, you know, people will take away uh, from the movie. You know, um, one of the lovely things from the trailer is is the romance, is, yeah. is the love story, which which is so lovely. And, and you have such an incredible actor with you, Vikrant, yeah. who's so wonderful. Um, you said something very interesting at the trailer launch. You said that in cinema, usually attraction is physical. Yes. And that was obviously um, going to be a challenge here. Can you talk about that? I wouldn't even call it a challenge. I'd say for Amol, Malti is beautiful. Right. And for Malti, she's beautiful. So neither is she thinking about what this person is thinking about my own appearance, my appearance right now. Um, and that for me is so, uh, we need more of that. We right. need to see more of that. 
um, so of course it's physical of course it's physical um, but it's physical i think in in a way uh, not physical in a way that we're we're used to right. in the way that we've understood Correct. it for so many Correct. years you know uh, uh, conventional standards of beauty and correct right ki you know baal aise udhenge aur makeup aise hoga aur ladki gori hogi and that's yeah. you know that's one type of beauty but right. this is also beautiful correct. amol finds her beautiful and that's why they are together right you know you said i remember you saying to me um that when the when when it was the last day of shoot when you'll actually wrap You yeah. burnt mm -hmm. the prosthetic, and you needed to stand there and wait and watch that completely disintegrate. Yeah. Why was that important? And um, w it, was that your sort it of getting my, it out of the system? My attempt at cleansing. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> my attempt at cleansing, because I felt like I had carried too much of it with me, and I felt like um, that process would probably help me just release um, some of the baggage that I was carrying, some of the emotional baggage that I was carrying. um it definitely helped it definitely helped but i you know there's clearly you know some residue <laughs> right uh yeah i would imagine it's impossible to completely it drain oneself right it won't it won't and uh, this i think this has impacted me this film has impacted me in a way that even i don't realize sometimes and that's why it just comes out you know when i least expect it and um yeah you know it's characters i've said this before characters don't leave your system entirely yeah. anyway somewhere they're always there you know right. tell me to do veronica in 10 minutes and you know i'll 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 do that you okay. know they don't leave your system right. entirely right right uh so yeah but you were getting into this film right after your marriage yes was that a strange you know coming off this happy time this celebratory time um you know uh, being beautiful and and those gorgeous pictures and coming off a holiday um Did, did did you require some time to get into into the zone for that film what happened is because we had started the prep process even before the wedding right. i actually feel like it was the opposite mm. i actually feel like in my time away and i wanted to do it this way it allowed me it allowed for me to just live with all of that work that we had done before and even through the wedding it was always at the back of my head like you know almost gearing up for this right so it's not like something that i just completely forgotten and i could park it and then come and revisit right if anything the the look tests and the prep that we had done before you know just stayed with me and we chose to do it that way i chose to do it that way because i also wanted then to just live with it for a bit this is a more an emotional preparation the physical part of it is easy right right the, the emotional prep is is what you've got to you know work towards you know in marrying an actor um have you do you find that that now you have you know a collaborator or or just another mind to i mean very often one i would imagine that that you know one wants a second opinion on things or or one just wants another uh, someone who's who who has the same experiences and yes. has the same kind of who has the same job to be able to bring a viewpoint is is that something that you'll you'll lean on each other for yes and no yes and no i think because we're um we're also very different in a way right. in our choices and what we believe in in the kind of films that we want to do at you know at where we are in our lives right now um so so yes and no and you know and there's a part of us that also doesn't want to only discuss work all the time sure um but at the same time yes like if we've you know if we've had you know I'll know of the narrations he's had in a day he'll know about the narrations I've had um if it's something that i'm exploring like i was you know talking about chakun's film and he was like he was curious he wanted to know right. what it was uh, or you know so in that sense of course we talk to each other about uh and it's definitely easier because an actor's life is not easy sure uh but having uh you know living with someone who understands the demands um and all sorts of demands mm. uh definitely makes it easier on uh, the relationship yes um i'm i'm guessing you've heard of the malayalam film uyare which yeah. uh, parvati's done yeah. um also about not the same story but yeah. also about a woman who who um is attacked by in fact her lover yes. uh, and and is a survivor of um were, were you curious were you at what stage did you find out about this film were you ever um were you ever concerned that will the stories overlap will that be a problem no because i feel like you know everyone also has a different way of telling it today someone else can decide to get up and you know and make a film on on lakshmi or on acid violence and 
I think every film will have a different texture and it's a good thing. Yeah. You know? yeah. I actually feel like it's a good thing because I've always said like cinema is such a powerful medium. Correct. Uh, and that's why we chose to tell this story because it's not like acid violence has not existed in our country. True. It has, but it's just not been spoken about as much as say uh, rape or um, you know whatever other issues. So um, it's 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 nice. In fact, Shabana Ji has had done a movie I think yeah. last year, if I'm not mistaken, which released. So there have been you know a couple of them that that have been and no, there's no concern at all. Finally, Deepika, when you look back, it's only been what twelve years since, 12 years, since yeah. you joined the, the movies. You know, it feels. I think it was right here actually that that uh, one you were first introduced to the to the world and to the press and yes, um, and I was wearing know, a white sari. That's right. I remember that. Yeah, and the famous wave. Remember? <laughs> yes. Uh, how you know? Do you do you kind of look back and how how do you spend any time sort of looking back and just um, you know considering how far you've come because it you know. I remember thinking, wow, I mean, 12 years, producer, putting one strength behind um, important stories. Do you spend any time in doing that? No, I don't, I don't look back like, like that much. I definitely look at it in terms of uh, how much I've probably grown mm. or learned or evolved. Uh, what are the things that I could have probably done differently? Is there anything I regret? Uh, and then I'm like, no, actually, I don't regret any of them because they were the right decisions for that time. Right. Today, if I was given the same opportunities, would I do you know those things again? So I have like those kind of thoughts. Mm. Um, but no, I don't feel like oh wow, like oh I've been here for twelve years. You're and, over the back, yeah, no. yeah, no, 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 not at all. I'm, that's not me uh, at all. Yeah. Well, all the best, and you're making another movie soon, so good. I mean, there won't be a long break again. No. Looking forward to lots <laughs> more, more power, more strength. Can't wait to watch this one. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank so much. you.